metric Allen wrenches, and a Phillips screwdriver. That screw can be undone and this can be turned so it can be mounted either this way or it can be mounted on this part like this, which is the way I have it set up right now. On the left side, the red button facing up and just slide it on as far as you can get it. Yeah, the important bit when putting the brakes in, so the out, outboard side goes to the brakes on the bicycle, the inboard side goes to the brakes on the back. No more torque than about two or three newton meters. Again, can't stress this one enough. The brake cable goes on the outboard side of the brake. Very important, if you do it the other way around, it could cause injury or death. When installing a twist grip throttle, it comes with one of these plastic things. That absolutely must be fitted to the throttle. Grip goes on the end, and then you push the throttle against the end of the grip. Grab all of this stuff and line it up. Again, the torque on this set screw, no more than about two or three newton meters. Just snug these ones up first and then tighten them down after you have them where you want them. The electrics comes out of the computer and they should all be rooted loosely so that, the, so that the bicycle wheel can turn, the headset can turn without pulling on the wires, just like any other cable, and then zap strapped into place. The hitch exists on the left side of the trailer, so we route the wires down the left side of the bicycle. So these will be zap strapped to the side and down this down bar here to the bottom. Best to leave it a little bit loose at first so you can make sure you take up the slack properly. I like to put a cable tie right next to the brakes. If anything happens and the cables are held securely in place and are kept clear of the brakes, the hitch assembly will fit any, any standard bicycle, whether it's quick release or normal nuts. All right, this goes on the skewer first. In this case, we are using quick release. To level the trailer, first connect the trailer to the bicycle. Make sure the bicycle is vertical and then check for levelness with a spirit level. Loosen off the tow bar clamp will fit it and then push the trailer into place where it's supposed to be. Once it's level, just tighten up the tow bar clamps again. Just like that. So the next step would be brakes. Cables of custom length are needed for this part. Stick an end cap on. If you don't have this tool, you can just lightly crimp it with a pair of pliers. So again, the inboard side of the brake goes to the back. It's just like normal brakes, the exact length of the housing is not really that critical. Once you have your sleeve cut to length, it makes sure that all your cable housings and stuff, the ends are inside where they're supposed to be. First things first, the sleeve goes on. Put the thimble through the snap shackle first. Again, this part is critical, so you know, take your time and make a loop with the wire. Don't rush. Now, preloading the brakes is a bad idea, so when you're tightening the loop, only, only tighten it enough so that it just barely pulls the cables. The sleeves should be really tight up against the thimble. And then we just trim the cable close to the sleeve. There's no need for a thimble or uh, like an end cap. There's one side and then you just repeat the exact same process for the other brakes. Now it's just a matter of zap strapping the cable housing to the frame of the bike. Three to three, that other one was six to six. If you have extra wire, you can always just bundle it up here and put a zap strap at the bottom of the a frame, or you can bundle it up here wherever is convenient. 